The city of Chicago, led by Mayor Rahm Emanuel, Barack Obama's former chief of staff, has announced plans to close 129 public schools. The school closures, predominantly in poor neighborhoods, are part of the Obama administration's attack on public education. Facing mass opposition to the closures, the city is holding a series of public hearings in an attempt to diffuse public outrage. The WSWS spoke to parents, teachers, and students at a meeting on February 13th at the House of Prayer Church in North Lawndale and February 16th at Truman Community College in Uptown. You know, as teachers, we have to be the voice for our students. I mean, that's our job. And since, you know, people don't generally listen to, you know, young, young people, which I think is a crime in and of itself, uh, we have to speak up for them and we have to be the advocates for them, whether it be about school closings or education in America in general. That's our job as educators. And so that's why we're here and that's why we do what we do. Target, we're looking for every single person that we knew that was a part of our community to let them become aware of what's actually happening, the lack of an elected school board, the lack of funding for the schools and say, oh, well, you know, there's all these repairs that need to be done to your school. It's going to cost $17 million to repair your school. You know, a lot of people don't know that, that that's really the reason why our school could be shut down. It's not the lack of instruction. It's, you know, the kids are having to flee the neighborhood because of lack of affordable housing. I've been preaching that for a long time now. I had to move out of this neighborhood, you know, let alone, you know, I'm making a, a decent salary as, a, as such a high paid public school teacher. But, you know, I myself had to leave the neighborhood because I couldn't afford housing here. How are my families and that are homeless, how are the parents that are on public aid finding affordable housing in this area? All, many of the families and people that I see now who have students at Mason were my classmates when I went to Mason. So it is a family, it's a community. These same people that were there 30 years ago are there now. So, of course, if this school is not there, that is going to be a major you know, major problem in that community. We have to almost, you know, do everything that we can to get our children to progress, to want to achieve excellence. And now that we're there, now you're going to close this up? Hi, my name is Vicki Custodio, and I'm at this meeting to fight for my children. Stewart is on the school closure list, and that is greatly going to affect my child, um, social and emotional um, you know, stability um, with the school closing and also that my daughter doesn't, may not have the opportunity to graduate with her eighth grade class. I mean, Stewart's a struggling school. It's because, you know, we have, you know, a lot of turnaround for our students in there. There's homeless kids there, you know, but that doesn't take away from the fact that there are great teachers there. It doesn't take away the fact that um, we have teachers that are truly care about our, our kids. My son has a huge men, you know, mental disorder with his ADHD, his ODD. So he needs the support. He needs the consistency of an actual um, staff that is consistent with him. That cares about the, you know, cares truly cares about him. Yeah, we are, we have all three of our children are in pre-K actually. Just started. Just school. started pre-K, and we don't understand why they're trying to, you know, close down the schools, and we don't have the money to be a, to afford charter schools. It's like we just talking, this is the second time. And it's like we just talking. They're trying to take our schools and close our schools down. For what purpose? When you got all these vacant lots, all these abandoned buildings, all these liquor stores on every corner. Take those and close those down. Fix these buildings. Why take the school? Why take the education? When they take this education away from these kids, it's going to be ridiculous. If they think it's ridiculous now, they're talking about a bloody January. They're going to have a whole bloody year. It ain't just going to be January. They take these schools away, it's going to be worse because now our kids on the street. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Yarbrough, and I'm with McNair School. I'm here because I'm concerned about public education. I don't want to see it disappear. Public education is for everyone. You don't have to be on a lottery. You don't have to have money because taxpayers pay for that expense. And I think it's a shame that we pay taxes and we don't have a choice about our education. I feel like, am I really a United States citizen? Am I entitled to anything? Am I entitled to an education for my children? I don't feel like I am. Every time I look up, I have to fight for a better school, fight for books, fight for things that should be natural in America. This is the United States of America. This is not some primitive country that does not have the resources. We have the resources. 
our money is being used in other places. I think it's a shame.